For 23 years, Manda and Dr. David Ranneker were happily married, raising their two daughters here in the conservative Afrikaans community of Middleburg. Dion was the son they never had, but quickly the chemistry changed with Manda. First, there was flirtatious texting. Then came the sex. Not only was Dion sleeping with Yarlene, he was also in a sexual relationship with her mum, 26 years his senior. She says that you sent her a text saying it was your fantasy to be with an older woman. She asked me if I ever had that fantasy and I said, I don't, I think... Well, it is a schoolboy fantasy, isn't it? Yeah, but, so, um, yeah. Is that when the sex began? Yeah, pretty much. That opened? That the opened the, the, the door for... I mean, yeah. but he was 17. He was your daughter's boyfriend. I know, I know. If, if, if I can make sense of that, I might make sense of my life now. We did visit here, we did have dinner here, and then we, we got together for the first time in a, in a sexual way, yeah. In August 2007, only four days after the first text, they were in bed together here. Now bear with me, at the Wishes and Dreams Lodge, just outside Pretoria. It was sex between two consensual people. Was it romantic? Yes, it was. At that point, did you think, this is wrong, this is so wrong? I, I, I do not have bad memories of that evening. Not at all. For the next 22 months, Dion and Manda continued their illicit affair, meeting once or twice a month, always in guest houses like this and always with Manda paying. Now, Manda says their romance was one of equal passion, but Dion claims he only continued in the relationship because he felt trapped, threatened with exposure if he didn't meet Manda where and when she wanted. How long did the thrill last for you? The first time it happened, I was just over it. And I just said, listen, I really feel bad and I don't want to do it anymore. That's done for me. And um, then she just started and said, no, she don't think it's over. And if I don't keep doing it, she will tell Yaline and she will tell everyone else. Dion was never raped. Dion came to me willingly. He had his own transport. He made arrangements with me. He wa we never drank or smoked pot or did anything to soften the blow of having sex with the older woman. Um, I might have been Dion's meal ticket, but I was never his prison. Did you say to Dion, if you stop this sexual relationship mm. with me, I will tell my daughter and you will lose her? Yes, once. Yeah. Um, so was he forced into a relationship with you because you threatened him in that way? No. I think I was just really too scared to say no. I was just too scared to say no. But for you to be involved in a sexual act, you know, it takes two to tango. So was there a part of you that did enjoy what was going on? Uh, obviously, obviously, yeah. Uh... 